being a black folks, so basically you can't uh, zoom in on your window when you go to this because NASA doesn't want you to be able to see stuff. So a new software <coughs> has helped us piss them off and make us happy instead of having to get a magnifying glass and look do what they used to have to do years ago, 20 some odd, 30 some years ago. They used to, 40 years ago back in the NASA project, stuff like that, they would, when they were shooting pictures of the moon, they would put them on a wall and blow up the pictures and look at it with a magnifying glass, okay? And study the moon, okay? So now we have to, with our new software, because we're going to glue in on, and basically you see those, space is pitch black. The stars put off the light. Then a CME that gets popped out to space ends up having these objects. And then you have the supergiants that are from various sizes bigger, one and a half times the size of the sun to like 78 times the size of the sun. And the sun is huge. So what we'll do is we'll minus down on this and give you a good shot of the sun doing a CME and also seeing a, more than likely maybe a comet pop in over here and everything like that. Now, like in this position here, you've got to go ahead and configure of where you can find the, uh, there is, you can research it, I'm not really too worried about it, the idea you can get the absolute, and as you see the arm kind of blocks out what we see here. Now, this could be part of the comet action that's been going on around by, uh, and especially since the tail is going forward, and more than likely it's going that way around the sun, we could have possibly captured right here the comet. But as the sun does CMEs, I'll show you here in a few minutes. See, this is from the 17th. See, they're blocking from what we can get from Sechi Soho. So basically, we end up having to zoom in on pixels instead of Lasco, where I could get in the Navy and everything like that. So with the arm in the way here, we get lucky on the Lasco when we get the Navy stuff, we can usually see right through. Now, the only thing that could be, since this is uh, ace that should be more than likely and i don't care if i'm wrong that this is behind or anything like that it's a 360 degrees almost basically it's not it's just a half of the 360 degrees of space uh we can see infinite distances and i'll show you in a minute when we have a cme come off it'll end up showing stars pop up but we're going to end up also seeing see mars should be the only thing that you'd see on the back side of the sun if this was directly from a which this probably should be from lasco a and basically I'll know in a few minutes too, be able to tell you, but see how that was there in the shot? Okay, now, as you pop through, I and mean, it's kind of nice about the player now, you can pop, just the idea that you have to zoom in on everything when you go, when you see an object, you gotta zoom in. We got a lot of activity. What I'm looking for is what popped up on the left-hand side of the sun. And whether it's the electrical, Now we might be getting, I might just, be, I'm just going to keep going and see, and you'll see what I originally showed you, I think, yep, pretty much sure that we just keep going here, and you're going to end up seeing what I zoomed in on show up because of the light that gets emitted out from a CME out into space, i.e. then you end up seeing stuff like that way out, right there, I'll zoom in on that real fast because it gets illuminated by the sun. Electrical connections start making up to stars to stars, materials in space and so forth. Now, some items already have their electrical magnification, comets, asteroids, and you end up seeing them in the darkness of space, i.e. above our atmosphere. And they keep on studying the atmosphere of Earth because the idea that it's just like uh, the magnetisms of the Van Allen belts out in space, they keep on finding that it's just way vast, more vast than what they originally expected. So anyway, I ended up getting you frozen in time somewhere around here of what was going on up there that I zoomed in on to the right, not to that to the left. So I'll just back up the tape. It takes too much tape time to go ahead and can see you see you see that there. Triangulation gets illuminated by the sun when it does a CME. And or whatever there it's light curvature gets out there too. You can do it without having a CME too, see? And then it lights up that there. 
stars way astronomical units way the heck out in space okay lights that up there okay because before it's playing through this video you don't see it so I zoomed in on that object already and if I play with the player I can hopefully there there it was for a second so I'm gonna find that right there real fast and here's the first thing that, that showed up to me there was that there and we'll zoom in on that with the magnifier and so it's kind of a pain in the ass when you don't get the beautiful shots that I was showing you before that we were getting from Navy which there's no reason we get tax paying dollars there's no secret super secret up there why we're locked out why I'm locked out to it right now I do not know and if anybody ends up knowing that there's new link and so far let me know and this thing moves so fast here and we'll get a real good zoom in shot of it and as you can see it's basically blink blink wink wink star basically like what we have seen what I've told you a surfer silver surfer a basically a uh, then we should be able to find the sun here real fast because I'm zoomed in big time there's the sun then over to the left and there you go so you gotta travel on leets uh, you gotta travel on basically sheets of not ice but sheets of light in space and you can see where that came from you see that right there okay so then the CME action from the sun blings that star quadrillion million billion almost close to there's no such thing as close to infinity but like I say a long, long damn infinities forever but a hell of a distance out there you get that there mark there and then that shoots through so we are getting bling uh, there are stars out in space hella far out that are trying to make a connection with the Sun Okay, i.e. I blew in on that. Okay, I blew in on that and it ends up being the mark over here right there. So whammo right through space. So there's tons of stuff that's basically trying to make a connection with the sun. Let me check show you this. Now most people would be stupid and say meteor shower and that's stupid because the idea that is so damn huge. Now watch this stuff to, right here, there's gonna be a comet. Electrical energy from stars, bling bling. And basically a comet's a comet, and you just seen that a comet went by, or possibly maybe into the sun, but it pr probably pretty much that there white flash right there, pretty much more than likely missed the sun. Right there, you see. So we got tons of stuff. I showed you a comet coming in the sky from Earth and turning its direction around, and it's electrical. Motor changes its phase. If you change a phase on a on a motor, electrical motor high voltage and it'll change direction and basically we're seeing subatomic energy changes its phase as a comet comes around an electrical magnet like the sun in space and basically I'll be able to freeze something here in a second for you on so basically we're at the same video and at the five second something mark I can five second in a ten second video basically you get this shot here and as you see now it just gets either deflected, it moves so fast, it's sheets of light from other stars and as you see this coming from a different direction, but this matches somewhat of the direction of all the crazy action that we were seeing in my holy ship Captain Bino Black, okay, the general area to the right, okay, and you're looking at Lasco 2 which is basically, and then a combination of EIT 171 which is the one inner shot on the blue portion of the sun there but as you can see we get sheets of electrical light light speed ladies and gentlemen from other stars that are huger than the sun anywhere in any universe because it can travel from one universe to another universe and then through our universe into our solar system and then near the and gets deflected by the magnetical or basically sometimes the comets just actually penetrate the sun they get through the magnetical field and bam and it's no big deal the sun is huge and it's been able to handle all this stuff all over the years so 
None of this stuff is scary, and NASA needs to open Sechi back up and let us see this stuff real time, pretty much like they've always done. They post it, boom, and let everybody see it, see what's going on. It doesn't scare me. It doesn't scare you. We're all safe here on Earth. Everything's fine. The world's not going to end. Now, when they start pulling uh, three-card money, and they're the ones that are the fear factor because the idea they're letting making it all well, and they're not letting us see what's going on so then they keep everybody it's just like they're they think they're movie producers or something or play actors i mean they they are they're play actors and they're running a skit they're running a broadway show here i mean it's not it's real life scientific data let's see the pictures quit the crap can't get into set you right now can't get into uh lasco uh and i'll search for the links and it's just a joke on Bino, big deal, if it's just a joke on me, but the idea that I'm not being able to get to Sechi, and I think there's probably other people that can't get to Sechi and can't get to Alaska 1, 2, or 3, any of the live uh, Navy posts, and basically they were taxpayers. We were getting it before, why don't we get to get it now? It's just a search link on the internet. What's the new search link? Because this was playing pretty good earlier, but... So, let me see if I can get it to play, too. It kind of helps be able to freeze and see everything that's going on anyway. So, as you see, the red covers up a bunch of stuff. So, layers and layers and layers and layers, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see layers and layers and layers and layers. Now, remember, this is just the arm here, so relax on this, okay? But as you see, they're stripping stuff out, or they're just getting a bad feed, one or the other. They're probably always going to say bad feed. And it helps to slow it down anyway. I didn't mean to tend it, but it won't. basically they know when we're recording and when we're not recording, so... And then the best way to do it is just to pop the ball around on it. Chromatic Islands is really active right now. But otherwise, everything else, I'm just going to blitz through that, but it's basically very low. There's hardly much action at all on the grass, okay? As I flash down, and you could freeze anywhere in there if you're flashing around, but there's really hardly much going on. But the Chromatic Islands has basically got a lot of action going on, okay? A little bit there, cave in Indiana, and so... Otherwise, everything's pretty mellow on quakes. Let's go to the mag and see what we got here. Honshu, Japan. Still very active because that Fuka fudge up's going to ground. And then also the nuclear magnetical out in space it affects everything else in the gravitational of the Earth. And we'll get to the mag again here, coming down through. That's your mag of your quake right there, 3.4 mag. I don't know if we've had a, uh, there was a 6.7 yesterday. Don't even have to show you, but it's on there. There's a, there it is. Matter of fact, there it is. Bam, 6.7. I got lucky. So anyway, 6.7 yesterday, we've had a 6-pointer every day. Multiple, many 6-pointers. So, and then on the 18th, I don't think we had a six-pointer yet today. So, you can go back through that, spin back through the video, full screen. In, in our plasma, basically, the southern hemisphere is getting the most action right now. So, we're ascending through space more than we're doing it through our head, which is the North Pole over here. So, that's the latest from the magnetosphere. As you can see, we're getting some directional change, ass end first. So, as we get drug behind... And this southern hemisphere shows you all the data just fresh right now. So today, the 18th, and Venus should be the biggest thing. It should be the only thing that we pretty much, Venus and Mercury should be the only thing we see. And there you go. There's a fresh picture of a head H12. And zoomed in on that right now, and you know the sun is over here in the blockage, and this is the dark side over here, and these planets are in alignment and you don't see their magneticals that much, so they're far way off, but there are some planets out there between 
who knows from the angle. You get, it's really hard to know by the angle that you're looking at. But there's planets out there and or stars, but it sure should be planets because